was waiting, man. My camera was charging, and it was charging so slowly, so I just ripped it off, and I was like, bro, we're going. I'm pressing the red button, we're going. I can't take anymore. I've been waiting two days to finally see the next installment in my boy, Taite Kubo's awesome sauce, man. Anything Kubo-related, you are nowhere in like somewhere, man. So, and I enjoyed the first chapter, the one shot of Burn the Witch so much that I was like, you know what, man? The moment this comes back to an actual series, you know we gotta cover this in the channel. Looking forward to the anime when that drops as well on October 2nd. We're finally here, man. Kubo is back in Weekly Shonen Jump Magazine. Like, yo, for me, like, high key, 110%. For me, man, this entire week has been extremely emotional because just being able to cover both One Piece and a Kubo manga in the same week has so much nostalgia, emotion uh, with it, man, where I'm like, flag nors. Like, I, I honestly, I feel so blessed and grateful to be able to cover both series in the same week once again, man, because it feels like it's been so long. My boy Kubo's back, man. Let's get right into it, dude. I'm telling y'all, I was sitting here and I was watching openings and endings for Bleach uh, while waiting for the camera to charge, and I was like, I can't take it no more, man. I gotta up into the awesome sauce. I gotta see the latest installment with Noelle and Nanny and going up into like one more. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I haven't read the original one shot in quite some time, so so if I forget like certain things, please bear with me, man, and and trust me, bro. You can always feel free to co correct me or whatever in the comments down below. It's it's not gonna hurt my feelings, son. So please feel free to to correct me or or let me know that if I'm, if I'm something I'm saying is not factual, man, so I can correct it for the next reaction and whatnot. You feel me? So right here we start off with a double paged color page going up in like sweat where burn the witch. Number one, witches blow a new pipe. I'm gonna see right here, Ninny and Noel, uh, chilling on top of this roof. Don't abuse dragons. Let's eat animals. Sorry, right, Kubo, <laughs> he's out here delivering. Don't abuse dragons, but it's okay to eat animals, man. Let's get right into it. Aren't fairy tales just full of it? And yo, Ninny's out here looking swagged out, straight up. Okay, see, this is this is this is what I'm talking when it comes to the Kubo drip. His character is so dripped out, man. You see him on one page like this, you like put him in front of a fashion magazine, in front of a Gucci magazine, do something, bro. Like, look, look at this swag, full of drip, baby. Girl gets hit by a magic spell, turns into a princess. Gets to wear a pretty dress. Gets to make believe she's picking out some hot guy, but ends up choose, get, but ends up getting chosen herself instead. There she is. It's Ninny. And the magic disappears part way through the boot. Isn't that just the worst? But everyone says they want to be the princess. Hey, Ninny, nice hoodie. And Ninny's out here just chilling, you know, walking down the street. Did you really break up with TJ? She was out here with a TJ? They know the spell's going to wear off in the middle of things, right? Are they for real? You broke a promise, so... Oh, well. Time's up. You're out of luck. Think again. Any thoughts on leaving the band? You didn't get along with Macy, right? The band? You're all a bunch of idiots. Yo, Ninny's still walking down the street just chilling in this hoodie. None of you have any idea what the spell actually wears off. Freaking annoying. Huh? Let me see this light come out. It looks like a Quincy uh, type of light coming straight out. You remember how um, in Bleach, whenever you know, somebody would fire uh, one of their arrows in the, in the Blood War, or you would see uh, someone get the shot off, and you would get this uh, the, this like frame of, uh, of lighting where like four streaks of light would be centered on one specific location. Uh, that's what it reminds me of right here. Hey, Ninny, wait. Damn, what was that ridiculous flash? So here we go. Here we see Ninny turn around the corner, pulls out the coin. There we go. SSWB, Soul Society West Branch, baby. <laughs> and here we see Ninny uh, looks to be right in front of the Harry Potter thing from the one shot. It looks like you enter this thing and you go into the next portion. Right here we get to see, huh? Oh, what? She vanished. If idiots are the only ones who get bewitched. Ninny Spankle, reporting for duty. Let's get it. I'd rather be the one casting the spell. Let them know. Let them know that destiny doesn't, doesn't, let them know that destiny doesn't control you. You control destiny, dog. Like, yo. 
obstacles, thingamajoos, everything coming your way. Will you tell all those things? Miss me with all that nonsense. I'm controlling all this, dog. Ain't nobody controlling me. I control myself. I'm no nanny dog. I'd rather be the one casting the spell and we see once again the Burn the Witch title right here. And double spread. Burn the Witchy. Isn't this the, uh, the, the thing that they used in the, uh, for the anime? Whenever they were both hopping off and we saw both of them, like, in midair? I think, either that or I must have dreamt it or something, because I feel like I've seen this before. I've always seen Noelle and Nanny going up in, like, swimwear and double spread. And here we go. Where we could see Noel for the first time in manga form. It is, isn't that something? Uh, in the in the one shot, I remember we started off with Noel, and then we slowly got to see Ninny, and then this time we start off with Ninny and got to the, um, I got to see Noel later on. Whenever we entered the, the uh, I love it, the the Soul Society West Branch, bro. West Branch. Tip of the finger, edge of voice razor, iron key of Joe Revenger, five fetters and three chains somber. Close the eyes of the horns timbre. Timbre? Timbre! So right here we get to see this Final Fantasy looking mythical creature on the left side. It looks back and it gets smoked on sight. Please don't use your magic. Your antlers will react to the spell and bloom. And right here we get to see the, a flower grow from the antler. And then we see this massive... I'm mean, Okay, Kubo, I mean, yo, this man's out here dealing with mythical creatures now, bro. So we see this pig, feathers around the neck, like it's do Quixote, do flamingo. We got a unicorn horn coming out of his nostril. I don't know what this thing is, but it's looking down at, at um at the deer with the wings. Spell 31, blue spark. Fires off the gun, and it just pones uh, the, the old pig eagle thing, whatever this thing is, all the way back into the flagnards. Nice shot by the spirit gun here. Vegan. And we see that the creature heads off into the other side. Uh, Noelle looks over. I love Kubo's art, bro. You feel me? It feels so good just seeing Kubo's uh, his page layout, the way that he draws uh, facial expressions, and and then he draws his characters. Like it's, it's Kubo, bro. Spell forty four, flash bumper. And we see Nenny coming in as well, and we get to see a net coming out, protecting uh, Noelle from the fall here. That was close. Isn't that a Bud buck? A bud buck? That's an A rank harvest. What were you going to do if I hadn't made it here in time? You've got no right to complain when you were super late. A, you know, she was dealing with some stuff. Ninny. And we see Ninny right here uh, on top of what was the name of that Yu Gi Oh card, man? Aerodactyl, or was that a Pokemon? Yeah, no, I think that was a Pokemon. Uh, the Aerodactyl, the. Yeah, that is, that is a Pokemon. The, the one in Yu Gi Oh was, was something else. In, in Pokemon, the, the Aerodactyl. We over here flying, man, from, I think that was Gen 1, right? We see Ninny on top of the Aerodactyl. I told you not to address me by my first name. I've got seniority. Ninny Spankle, wing bind, second umbrella, normal occupation pop star, lead singer of the girl band Ce Cecil Die Twice. Is that Cecil or Cecily? Let me know. Cecil or Cecily? I'm going, I want to say it's Cecily. Because of the E at the end. We'll go with both. Alright, we'll go with both. But regardless, uh, Nini right here. Niha! And then right here we get to see right in front of this supposed Bud Buck. What is that thing in the back? Niha she know well. Wingbine first umbrella. Normal occupation student. South Braxton High second year. I'll stop calling you Nini if you start calling me Noel. You're the junior employee here. Why are you making demands without batting an eye? Dragons are mythical creatures. But in truth, dragons are neither mythical nor creatures per se. In the London of ages past, 72% of all deaths were related to those grotesque beings known as dragons. That is why London's coat of arms so prominently display, displays a pair of dragons rampant. Is that factual? Grotesque beings known as dragons. I've never tried dragons again, man. Those things are as beautiful and majestic as you could possibly get. 72% of all deaths. That's very interesting. And as rampaging dragons tend to be harmful to humans, the need, or the need arose to find individuals who could manage them. Those who can live in people... Those who can live in... 
uh, people living in front of London cannot perceive the beast with the naked eye. Reverse London. Yes, the residents of this flip side of London, so to speak. Out of necessity, it became their job to conserve the control and to it became their job to con to conserve and control the dragon population. We have this really really nice panel of the Soul Society West Branch building and everybody riding in on their aerodactyls. Reverse London Natural Dragon Management Agency. For starters, what's with you? Win wing bind, wing bind HQ. Why'd you take on a two person job by yourself? Because you were late, Ninny. A normal person would wait. Then because I get the reward all to myself I, if I do it solo. Ka-ching! We see a 512 here, version the currency. I knew it. that's what you were actually after. You make a ton of money in front of, in front London, you could just transfer it. My pride won't let me. Besides, that's not what I'm talking about. Huh? I lost achievement points. Achievements? Are you going for achievements and we're playing a game? Even though I was really discreet when I picked the flower. All right, I got some points. And you see, Nenny's not even paying attention over here. He's like, yo, I finally got some achievement points out here, dog. Why did you get them? Obviously because of my assist at the end. You got that You you got that to thank for keeping the, uh, the commission goods safe. But wait, why are you nitpicking budbuck flowers without permission? What else am I supposed to do? They lose value if they're already flowering before the sale. I was helping out our client. See? Isn't it pretty? You can touch it if you want. But you can't have it. As if I'd want that thing. And here we see the massive explosion behind them. Now, this is a classic Kubo panel right here, man. Showing his side of the face while something is happening in the background. Yo, but this, these, these little um, artistic styles and, and these little quirks that Kubo has as an artist is stuff that I miss, man, because I, I absolutely adore his art. And of course, man, I adore Bleach, so like, just seeing this brings back so many memories and whatnot. Whoa, what's that? Is that a dark dragon in the middle of the city? A dark dragon. What is this? The red eyes black dragon? Oh, Sushi. Oh, Sushi, calm down. No, it's Balgo. What a cutie you are. Right, we're going to see the... The... What the flag nerds is that? It looks like a little small teddy bear with, like, these large wings. You cutie pie, could you settle down a bit? Seriously, Balgo again? Oh, it's Balgo. Seems like it. Could you do something about that? Aren't you in charge of him? You mean we are in charge of him? Oh, Sushi, dragon canine. Balgo the human dragon clad. Well, it doesn't seem too bad. He's smiling after all. Care for some tea? A latte for me. If you put in the money, I'll push the button for you. This is super bad. Balgo will end up dead at this rate. You've got to. Oh, look, it's this dude. Yeah, you've got to actually look after him. Is that you, ex chief? What are you doing here? He got the axe from Sabres, so he's back at Piper starting today. Oh, the heck? That's hilarious. What did you do? Apparently, he was fired because he didn't do anything. Stop with the wounds still fresh. The poor Flagnard, man. Boy, my boy got fired. All because he wasn't able to do anything. Or or because he might have been lazy, whatever the case may be. But still, he got laid off. Who cares if you've got wounds? I don't want to do it. Managing a dragon clad is just some nonsense HQ is forcing on us. We're not getting paid nearly enough money or achievement points to watch him 24-7 while holding down a normal job. You're going on about that again? Exactly as, as I anticipated, I did the rounds to the relevant stakeholders and got you approval and for overtime and bonus achievements. And, and then he's like, bonus achievements? Say less, chief. Say less. Oh, well, guess we just got to do it then. It's our time to shine, Niha. You're doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the achievements. I love that. I love that. That in, in, in even, even when it comes to the rewards and what they're trying to gain out of certain missions and all the stuff they do, uh, they're doing it for different reasons. And I'm sure um, it, the reason why I like that so much is because it's two people. Like whenever you have two people uh, that are the, the main points of the story, it's always great to showcase, you know, the, their, their different objectives, uh, what it is that they're trying to get out of this, uh, how can they help each other um, and whatnot. But it's always, it, they always work together so well because they're trying to do things differently or, or they're trying to, to get the same goal but get different things out of it, right? So... When it comes to these two characters, just when it comes to something as simple as as, as it was built up through throughout this entire chapter so far, like, yo, uh, Noelle is doing it for, for the money, and, and Ninny's like, yo, Flagnards, I'm doing it for the achievements. Like, yo, screw it. And I understand that, man. As an achievement hunter, as somebody who loves hunting for trophies and achievements in video games, I know how that is, dog. You, you feel me? So right here we see uh, both of them going off on the... Oh, this, this one doesn't look... Oh, well, uh, Ninny's on the Aerodactyl. Uh, Noel looks to be on some type of Pokemon over here. And if anybody asks, we're doing it for social justice. 
I'm gonna at least show that last part first. Ah, uh, Bulko, you dumbo! You better not come over here. And right here we get to see the dragon clad crash into a building. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. You didn't get hurt, did you? When it comes to dragon management, there's one absolute rule. I'm not worried about injuries, you dolt. What am I supposed to do if I get thrown in jail for a dragon interaction violation? Wingbind HQ is right around the corner, you know. Ordinary citizens are forbidden from interacting with dragons. Interesting. Only those who pass the test are granted permission to come into direct contact. What am I going to do if a witch or a wizard sees? And then we get to see Nanny pop up from behind and Noel as well. And they are the licensed witches and wizards of Wingbind. So when they show up, it's like, oh, Flagnards, like, oh, these, these, are the, these are the head chiefs in charge. <laughs> I love how he this particular shot of Noel just looking absolutely, like, out of it. It's like, I have to deal with this garbage again, dude. Noel, you saved me. I'm the one saving you, you dimwit. <laughs> and then he's like, you're taking care of it, I'm the one holding you. There, there, there. Yeah, because Noel wants, wants the cute thing to herself, just like Flagnards. Let, let, let me hold the Osushi, man. Like, I'd rather grab the cutie thing. Please calm down, Osushi. And then we get this little panel right here of, of Noel looking over to the side. Wings coming out. Osushi settled. What did you do to Osushi? Nothing. We want to walk. It's totally normal walk, and then out of nowhere. Hey, thanks, witches. So, I'm on my window. And then Noel. Yo, look at that speed, son. She was down there. She did the flash step. You know who she learned that flash step from, bro? She learned it from me, dog. <laughs> Step from the OGs. Noel immediately makes it up there, face to face. You may use dragon insurance to cover the ro the window repairs. Dragon insurance? Is that Geico? So like instead of having um the lizard, the gecko, you know, driving the insurance right here in in this world in Reverse London, yeah. Instead of the the gecko, you have a dragon like doing the whole the whole shtick out of the Geico insurance commercials, dude. I dig it. So did you come into contact with the dragon? No, 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 I didn't. At all. Nia, do an exam. I got it. Here we get to see Noel bring out her phone, like she's the men in black. Please lick here. The dragon contact pro... The dragon contact prohibition. Yes, ma'am. Was written into law in 1609 to protect dragons and humans alike. Those who violate the, the statutes are sentenced to a 100-year prison term or execution. And this man actually is forced to lick this thing. Dragotoxins are at 0 0.3 millicrests. They're within normal levels. People who interact with dragons without proper qualifications accumulate a substance in their bodies called dragotoxin. Are they... When dragotoxin levels pass a certain threshold, they become dragon-clad. Interesting. So is that what happened with Osushi? They become dragon... What a relief. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Whose fault do you think this mess even was? Uh, ouch, that hurt. Come on. I apologize for the first punch. Why are you still wailing on me? Why haven't you put the fence collar on Osushi? Do you not get that as a dragon clad? You're the one. You're the only one. Oh, oh no. Um, what's his name again? I'm flipping. Hold on. Let me flip through the pages. Starts with a B. Balgo. So Balgo's the 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 the, the, the dragon clad here. Which is why it was specified um, right in front of his face, uh, right here, whenever it said they become dragon clad. I guess I, I got him mixed up with uh, Sushi and, um, and, and Balgo here. You're the only one who won't get thrown in jail for touching a sushi? I did put it on, it fell off! He suddenly spotted wings while we were on our walk. And I love this because as Balgo being a part of, of, of their, of their squad, they, um, they all need something that, that's different, you know, for each and every single one, and, and to have him, I mean, this this background as a dragon clad uh, is gonna more than likely add or bring up bring about like some very interesting scenarios with like lore for this verse and for future storytelling opportunities. All right, so we see Noel confused here. Oh, so she's sprouting wings even though you didn't do anything. Uh, yes. Good answer. Where did it happen? Dragon clad are infected with a disease from prolonged contact with dragons. Why does that matter? Please try to remember. Osushi only sprouts wings without warning. When you imitate his cry, you sneeze, you burst out laughing. That's a whole lot of reasons for real. The most significant sy symptom of being dragon clad is that they have a strong tendency. Or when danger is closing in on you. And we see this 
pterodactyl hollow mask looking thing to attract dragons by the very disposition. He looks behind him, he gets saved by Noel and Nini both flash tipping here into the uh, forward. And we get, no, no, this is a, this is a dragon, dragon dactyl hollow. That, that's what this thing is right here, coach. So they manage to look at it. Nini, the barrier tape. They bring out some tape here. On it. Wizard only keep out. <laughs> Wizard only keep out. So what are you going to do? Spell 04. And here we go. She's going for the spirit gun again. Stun ball. Fires a spirit gun directly at it. The the dragon thing is sent all the way to the back. What do you mean? Put up a barrier. Just in case. Oh, chief, we've subdued a dragon, so I'd like the additional reward, please. Well, that wasn't our fault. Please don't complain. It's not a good look. Yeah, yes, yes, that's right. I couldn't tell what kind of dragon it was just by looking. And it was rather worked up, so I shut it with a with a trank cue to keep it quiet for now. Excuse me. We get a closer look at the dragon here, and we get to see, like, the little blood splatter coming out from his neck, and... What in the flag nurse is going on over there? Like, he slides upward. And a new face comes out. What in the flag nurse, dude? That thing looks kind of creepy, but also kind of cool, no lie. So Nanny looks back, Nia! And um, Noel's forced to look up, and we see this massive, like an extended spear coming down from uh, for, from this hollow dragon thing over there. It comes down, lands on, lands almost on top of Noel. Nanny manages to get Noel out of uh, out of harm's way, but it, it hits one of those um, uh, the fire hydrants, and it's causing water to go all over them here. Yo, this thing looks menacing. Oh, yo, so it came out of its nostril. So out of this thing's nostril, some sort of whip-like spear, and then he has these wings, like he's out here delivering it as a red-eyes black dragon. Looks like it looks like it went lights out. Let's see. And then once again, it fires the spear thing from its nostril. Chief, we need an emergency dragon blockade on, on Rutherford Street. We've got a dark dragon on our hands. A dark dragon. Here we go. Rutherford Street. Emergency dragon blockade. Everything is blocked. You see the, the, the appears to be like the, the, the gates and, and the beginning of the Soul Society arc and everything else sort of like falling. Like, let's get nostalgia. What was that? What was that sound? Emergency line. This is a notification from the reverse London BBC. Due to a dark dragon alert, Rutherford Street has been put under a dragon blockade. This is a really cool panel. We see the dragon from the side. The little whip thing coming out of his nose. Then we see Nenny and Noel from the back shadowed out. That looks really awesome. Anyone in the vicinity should promptly seek shelter. Wingbine is managing the situation. That always gets to me. It doesn't get on your nerves when they say Wingbine is managing it? I don't mind since it's our job. There are shelters on Brick Street, Surf Street, and Django Street. Oh, those are some nice names. Brick, Brick Street, Surf Street, and Django Street. No, I mean, it's fine if we say it, but the BBC shouldn't. Chief, the dragon blockade is set up, so it's about time to swap places with. Please give those accompanying children and those with limited mobility priority. Sabres, call ended. What did you do that for? I should be asking you that. Are you going to let... No, no, um, that's sabers, right? That, that's, that's another way of... That, that's sabers? Because for some reason, my Hispanic self wanted to say sabres, whatever the flag guards that is, but that's sabers. To let sabers get all the credit. This is our chance. To show personnel affairs how powerful we are. Our duty as pipers is to take dragons to, past, to, to pasture and to harvest from them. We don't need to be powerful. Like I said before, I want to get into sabers. I don't particularly want to, though. Dragons absorb negative emotions from human, from human they have prolonged contact with, and transform into dark dragons intent on harming people. Dragons generally do not attack humans except during times of hunger. Dark dragons, however, have an intense fascination with humans and will actively assault or kill them. Therefore, the sole method of handling a dark dragon manifestation is eradication. So they need to get rid of that thing like the Quincy's did. I mean, should have just shoot in the head and go, get some spirit energy up there and just eradicate that thing from existence. So here we see Nini uh, flying all around this thing while she's playing Jet Set Radio. Let's get it, baby, you know? So we see a couple of pop 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 it looks like Nanny's already firing over here we see Balgo and then Noel uh, fires uh, uh, turns over the gun toward her and it's like she's about to do that thing from the from 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 the from the one shot or she blew into it and it caused a like, please take Osushi and move back and here we go and spell 75 
in her room, see like the little Quincy uh, uh, aura surrounding her. Spell 75, wing bind supreme powers that be. Hold on, bro, what the fuck? Who is, who is this? I thought I missed a page. So they do spell 75, massive explosion, but then we move over here. And we get to see a pan. Oh my god. Kubo and his organizations. So, right here we have a Zongzis. If you guys ever watched Him and Reborn, we have a Zongzis looking dude right here on the left. We have Pariston right in front of him. On the right, you have somebody right here with glasses. I can't tell what the individual right here has. Uh, the one in the middle uh, looks like the guy who drove the boat in the first chapter of Hunter x Hunter. Uh, it's, I mean, very unique looking thing. But they're there part of our organization. You can already tell. Wing bind supreme powers that be. So from their group, or from the, the, the establishment where they work in the wing bind, the supreme powers that be, the espada within the wing bind, you know, the, the top members, the executives, sure seems like a catastrophe. And they're over here watching Ball go here. Oh, we actually get to see them. Bruno Bang Knife. Or Bang Knife. That, that, that's Bang Knife. Bruno Bang Knife. That's a pretty fire name. So this is a Zongzis dude. Know how long it's been since the last one? A whole century. Roy B. Dipper. It's only been 96 years. Yeah, my boy's rocking the Barrett. And that's, that is, that's what post time skip Advent Children Barrett will look like with glasses. How do you even say this? Kiss. Kuntnire? Miliev? Kuntnire? I, I don't know how to say that junk, dude. <laughs> I have no idea. Miliev. We'll go with Miliev. I have no idea how to say that first part. CQ. Sick. Sick. I'm not even gonna try it. I'm not even gonna try it, son. You feel me? Miliev. That's basically a century. Trombone talking in. Mystical Corpse Pipers. Oh, those. Oh, I didn't even notice that they have like their their magic. Their magic Circle Corpse Ings for Bruno. Incantation Corpse Anthems for Roy B. Uh, for Miliev, we have Liturgy Corpse, the Sacreds. Uh, that, that sounds pretty fire. Minstrel Corpse, the Pipers. Tronbone Takiken. A whole century since we let a dark dragon get into reverse London. Sullivan Squire. Yo, Sullivan Squire is rocking out here. Tactical Corpse, the Sabres. If that isn't a cat catastrophe, then what is it? At least part of their show up. So Saka Rin, a Development Corpse, the Patchworks. There's a song from Human Echo's soundtrack called Patchwork Chimera. And that's, uh, that, that's, that's all I can uh, envision when I see the word patchwork. And account accounting Corpse Billionaires, Harry Shake. Quit chewing gum. Now, this, this Harry Shake fellow definitely gives me some, some, um, some Keyscape vibes here. So none of you have anything to say? Am I the only one taking this seriously enough to be livid? What the hell's going on? I did say something. Listen up. What I'm trying to say is this low-life ball go or whatever never should have been let loose to begin with. Yo, man, I can't believe we have an actual organization here, dude. I mean, it makes sense. It's Kubo, bro. But like, just see, because one of my favorite things uh, just in, in storytelling in general is whenever we get introduced to to some sort of, of organization that looks that looks fire. And, um, and like, Kubo is taking advantage of that with every arc, man. You know, with the Soul Reapers initially, uh, then with the Espada... And then he did it with the Fullbringers, and then he did it with uh, the Sternruder, and it's like, yo, I've, I've always dig that, man, like the whole organization concept. And the fact that he's doing it here uh, with the Wingbind again, and they all look like very interesting individuals. Once again, bro, it's, just, it's that Kubo, man. This is the only Volgo never should have been with the big one. Volgo Wayne Parks, Caution Dragonclad. What do you think, old Wolfie? Wolfgang Slash Hot. My man's name is Wolfgang. Wolfgang, that's a fire name. Oh man, he and he, he looks old too. You already know, old people in Bleach are OP. Personal Affairs Divine Punishment Corpse, the Gallows. Listen to this, Personal Affairs Divine. Punishment Corpse Gallows, you already know, that this, this dude's the leader. This dude's the leader, no question, dog. Wolfgang slash hot. This matter has also been raised in our corpse. In our core, on countless occasions in the past months since he became dragonclad, we cannot disregard the situation caused by our own inaction. We will commence proceedings to eliminate the dragonclad at Balgo Parks. And then, of course, Ni oh, and that's the end of the chapter. Ninny and um and Noel are not going to allow that to happen. So now it's going to cause some some inner conflict within this wing bind. Oh, that's going to cause some very interesting stuff, dude. Yo, great, great first chapter.
Wow, though that was 58 pages? That went by in a flash. Man, it was great to read Nick so a Koopa work again. And just great to be back in this um in the in the Burn the Witch verse once again, man. You know, with just um spending more time with Noel and Ninny and, and with Balgo now here as well. Lagdars. Aren't fairy tales just full of it? With uh Ninny right here looking swagged out. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna have to before the next chapter comes out, I I'm gonna reread the one shot. I'm gonna reread this chapter, and and get ready for 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 whatever's about to go down here in uh, in the next couple of chapters of of this run. If we're not mistaken, I believe it's gonna go it's going it's going on for a month, right? And they're all gonna be like really long chapters, I think. But regardless, even if they aren't really long chapters, the fact that they're about to have some other opponents that have these, I'm going to assume some skill sets that are very similar to theirs, just in a, in a different way, uh, to be able to, to do those, uh, to do those bouts and those battles, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Banzoichi. Yes, yo. I can already tell this is gonna be a series that I'm really gonna enjoy in animated form. It's like, I can't wait for that, for that anime to come out on October 2nd. She vanished. Just looking back to this again, man, just like, this is Kubo, bro, like, yo, this is his art, the way that he draws his action sequences, like, yo, this is our Kubo, the facial expressions, man, awesome stuff, dude. It's very very interesting like there was there, there was quite a few pieces of of like uh lore information which is why i want to go back and reread the one shot now there was little bits and pieces of stuff that i have a feeling are going to be very important later on down the line when it comes to this burn the witch story um with with like the importance of of the dragon toxins and, and how we got more into into how exactly the world works but as we found out more about how the world works we got a little bit more insight into the, like how everything came to be within in this world and I, I i find some of that stuff extremely fascinating because you already know it's going to be brought up later on especially with how uh, this head organization the, the the supreme powers that be you feel me um are very focused on balgo here so they obviously know that these dragon clad individuals are are things that they need to be taken care of immediately so it just it makes me wonder are we gonna get some sort of flashback to to another dragon clad individual or, or something that took place in the past that caused like this massive thing to hold start in the first place Possibly, right? But at the same time, with, with such limited amount of chapters, uh, I, I don't know how long each one's going to be. I don't know if, we'll, if Kubo will be able to, like, double down and really give us all that info. But, man, this was so much fun, bro. Because, man, I, I enjoyed that first one-shot so much that I was like, man, you know what? When, when Burn the Witch actually does come back, like, of course I'm doing it because it's a Kubo property, and er, er, anything that that man does, I'm gonna cover it as long as I'm doing YouTube, because that's just how much Bleach, like, means to me, how much you mean, how much Bleach means to the channel, like, that that's Kubo, bro, like, I'm always gonna support my boy as much as I can, but I genuinely enjoyed that first, uh, one shot so much, that I was like, man, when, when this thing comes back, I'm covering it, no question, and it delivered. I uh, just, I love already Ninny and Noel and their interactions. How how Kubo has, you know, showcased how they're willing to help each other, but the differences and like their objectives and the things they're trying to do, and their abilities and how they are able to help each other out, but still have those uh, those comedic interactions with each other. It just causes for some great uh, for, for 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 some great character interactions, and then of course how they both have to look after poor Balgo here. Uh, and whatnot, it just causes for some fun stuff within the within the uh, main cast. But this whole stuff with the dark dragons is so fascinating to me. Like, let me let me go back to to that thing. The dragon clad are infected with a disease from prolonged contact with dragons. The most significant system of being dragon clad is that they have a strong tendency to attack dragons by their very disposition. Let me see the the. There was another narration later on. Dragons absorb negative emotions from humans that they have prolonged contact with. Transform into dark dragons intent on harming people. 
Dragons generally do not attack humans except during times of hunger. Dark dragons, however, have an intense fascination with humans and will actively assault or kill them. Therefore, the sole method of handling a dark dragon manifestation is eradication. Because they have no other choice. And, like, you know, this is so dope because we don't get to see the dragon getting obliterated. Instead, what we get to see is the supreme powers that be and then the aftermath of, of them getting away of Nini, of course, of probably yelling at, at, at Noel and Noel just chilling, and then Balgo barely hanging on by, the, by his flagnards. I didn't even notice these rings. See, like a cross right here? This, 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 this man is ringed up right here on his, on his hands. Mr. Wolfgang, that's such a fire name. Wolfgang slash hot. And I love how, with all of these, it looks like they're all leaders or the heads of their own, of these specific, like, core within the wing bind. The top of horns. The supreme powers to be top of horns. So within the top of horns, you have like the I guess uh, Bruno's like the leader, like of the Magic Circle Corps, right? In the Inks division and whatnot, possibly, or maybe they're just representatives. And I love how each and every single one has like a different font that goes with their name. It's just little small stuff like that that, that I really love from from Kubo. And and as 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 a mangaka. Man, burn the witch greatness. I cannot wait for more. I'm definitely later on today. I'm going to actually probably while this thing is rendering, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna reread the one shot, and then I'm going to reread this. I'm trying to see if I can make some more connections when it comes to the lore, man, because it's something I'm really interested in. Because it takes place in the same universe as Bleach, and because you know, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it takes two years after chapter 686. So like. With it, take, with it taking place within the same world, like, I want to know if there's connections uh, with, like, the dragons and possibly the hollows and, and and stuff of that nature, right? Like, just to see what, what we can do, because I'm very fascinated by this whole concept of reverse London, and I was talking about this in the Red Force podcast, um, but, or, it might have been off air, but I was talking to this with the guys from the Red Force podcast about how I really uh, enjoy the, how Kubo gives his take on different cultures. That's why I think I like the Arankar saga, saga so much because as someone that comes from a Latin background, uh, just to see, like, especially in the anime, like the, 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 the soundtracks uh, that are definitely, like, definitely come from Hispanic culture, uh, but just like the names, like Arancal, La Espada, all, all that stuff, La Resurrección, like, and then of course, when it comes to uh, like the Sternritter and, and and German culture and 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 um and the influences like German influences, and now what he's doing here with with, with London and, and Britain and whatnot, it's just super cool. And the fact that he, it looks like he's paying homage to something like a Harry Potter, which of course is is very popular that that comes from over there and whatnot. It's it's just little small stuff like that. I appreciate when it comes to Kubo's works and and how it looks like he has a deep a deep appreciation for for different cultures and different parts of the world. Um, so just learning more about all that stuff and that thing with the dragons is that factual? Is that the reason why it's on? I mean I don't know man I, I I don't know enough about all that but what I do know is that Burden the Witch is here. My boy Kubo's back in Wilco Shonen Jump and he's delivering on that greatness man. Really fun chapter. And I can't wait for more, bro. Looking forward to seeing more from this organization. I'm looking forward to seeing um, how that did, like the whole dynamics are going to change and split now. Because we got that focus on Nini at the beginning of this chapter. And on, on her specific monologue. Because that was, that, was, that was very interesting. Like, aren't fairy tales just full of it? Like, girls get hit by a magical, power, by a magical spell, turns to a princess, gets to wear a pretty dress, gets to make believe she's picking out, picking out some hot guy, but ends up getting chosen herself, and the magic disappears part way through the boot. Isn't that just the worst? But everyone says they want to be the princess. Like, yo, are they for real? They know those spells going to wear off in the middle of things, right? You broke a promise, so well, time's up, so you're out of luck? Think again. You're all a bunch of idiots. It sounds like a song. None of you have any idea what this spell actually wears off. It's like, yo, if idiots are the only ones who get bewitched, I'd rather be the one cast casting that spell. It's just dope stuff, man. But yeah, for sure. Yo, if I missed anything, messed anything up, whatever, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below so that we can work on it for next week, man. Like, dude, Kubo's back, baby. That's all that matters. And I can't wait for 
uh, for what's going to happen next. Because I love Kubo and his organizations. And I'm uh, definitely interested in seeing how that's going to change the dynamic. And um, between Nini, Noel, and Balgo, you know, the fact that they're probably going to have to end up protecting him, which means they're going to have to go up against uh, this, um, the very branches that they're in. So it's like, man, what's, what happens now? And, like, we know how badly within this chapter that uh, Nini says that she wants to go into, be a part of the Sabres. So I'm going to assume she'll have her uh, moments um, with, with the Sabre Corps and, and what have you. So that'll... That should be a lot of fun, man, just to have some of those moments here in the near future. Um, I know we're going to be getting a chapter this Sunday, so I look forward to, to covering that on either Sunday or Monday for sure. Bleach. Kubo. Burns. Bandawichi. Great, yes. This is definitely, yo, and the fact that when this one shot ends, immediately we're getting the anime right afterwards on October 2nd. Oof. And when this run ends, because I think it's only running for a month, right? If, 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 if I'm wrong on that, please let me know, because I couldn't get that much information on Burn the Witch, because I was trying to avoid spoilers for Burn the Witch and for One Piece. So I was like, man, whenever I read the chapter, I'll read the chapter, and we'll go up in the next one more. So... Yeah, man, great stuff. But let me know what everybody thought about the, the one shot in the comments down below. I know, based on the last one shot, I know y'all have been waiting for Kubo to come back as much as I have been waiting for him to come back, man. So, this is a ton of fun. Can't wait to see the, the journey continue with, with these two awesome characters and where things go from here, man. And more lore. Like, I'm very interested on, on this whole world and the way that it works. It's just such a fascinating universe. I mean, the whole... The, the, the entire Bleach universe in general is very fascinating, but this whole concept of reverse London and the Dark Dragons, like, it's very interesting stuff. And then, and then that, is, that subtle little connection to, to the Bleach universe, like, I want to know more. I want to know more, and I want to know how it's going to impact uh, the characters in the story moving forward, man. But I'll see y'all next time. Bleach greatness. Bandawichi greatness. Y'all have a good one, yo.